Okay, hi, so welcome to this video on internal energy and changes of state. Now, if you haven't seen my previous videos where I talk about particle theory, then please first go and have a look at that because I'm assuming you know all the content from that. So when we talk about change of state, what is it we mean? Now I've drawn this little diagram here. We have our three states of matter, which are solids, liquids, and gases, right? Now in the red, it shows that when you turn from a solid to a liquid, that's called melting, liquid to a gas, that's called boiling, right? But when you go the other way, so when you cool it back down, going from a gas back to a liquid is called condensing or condensation. And going from a liquid to a solid is called freezing, right? Now, what you need to know is that these things happen as a result of the internal energy of your system, where your system is just the object or material that you're talking about, right? Now, when you heat up a substance, what happens is the total amount of energy inside the system increases, right? I just want to rewind actually for a second and tell you that the energy inside your system consists of the potential energy of the particles, okay, because they have a position, so they have a potential energy, and also the kinetic energy of the particles. Remember, if it's a solid, the particles are vibrating. If it's a liquid or a gas, those particles are moving, right? Which means that they have kinetic energy as well. Now, when we heat up a substance, right? When the system, when heat is applied to the system, then you increase the kinetic energy, right? And the kinetic energy will increase, and therefore your total energy of your system increases, right? And these two put together are the internal energy. The internal energy, whoop, there we go, of your system, right? So this, the total of your potential energy and your kinetic energy gives you the total internal energy, okay? All right, and so heating increases the kinetic energy of the system, right? Or your kinetic energy stores of the system, okay, are increased. Now this will cause... Okay, this can cause, this can cause either the temperature to increase or, right, I'll put that in capitals, or a change of state, right? So if you start heating a solid, its temperature goes up, right? That just happens until it starts to melt, right? When it's going to be melting, what happens is the energy, rather than just going to the kinetic energy of the particles, it breaks the bonds between the particles, okay? You know that in a solid, the particles are held together by strong bonds. Those bonds need to be broken, and it is basically the heat that you've added that's going to break those bonds, right? So either the temperature goes up or there's a change of state. So as you keep heating it as it's melting, the temperature doesn't go up while it's melting, right? Then once it's a liquid, you carry on heating, then the temperature goes up again, etc., etc. okay? But you need to know that as you increase uh, the t as you increase the amount of heat that you're supplying the temperature goes up or there is a change of state right and obviously the change of state is going to be um, melting or boiling okay now how much the temperature increases okay let's go down here so how much the temperature increases depends on Okay, the specific heat capacity of the substance. Okay, you should know that what this is already is basically the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius, right? But you should know that already. So the specific heat capacity of the substance obviously varies depending on what the substance is. So it depends on that. Also depends on the amount of the substance that you have. And lastly, it's going, to it's going to depend, sorry, on the amount of energy supplied. So basically, how much have you heated it? <clears throat> Those three things will tell you. I'm having trouble there. There we go. Those three things will tell you how much the temperature has gone up. Okay, so let me just summarize. You have in a substance, which is either a solid, liquid, or gas, particles, right? Those particles are held together by uh, bonds between them, right, or interactions between them. Strong if it's a solid, weak if it's a liquid, and they basically don't exist if it's a gas, right? When you go from a solid to a liquid, 
um, your increase if you increase uh, the amount of heat supplied to a solid okay the temperature goes up until it starts to melt and then the energy is being used to break those bonds okay same thing for a liquid you heat a liquid the temperature will go up until uh, it starts to boil and then energy is being used to break those bonds between them again okay so the total internal energy of your system, which is the potential energy of the particles and the kinetic energy of the particles. Yep, as you heat it, you increase the kinetic energy, right? That energy is going to be used either to increase the temperature or it's going to be used to break the bonds between your particles, right? And that the, oh, sorry, how high the temperature goes or how quickly it increases depends on the properties of the substance, which is specific heat capacity, the amount of it you have and the energy supplied. All right, so I'm going to stop there. I hope that made sense. If it didn't, please feel free to put a comment in the box below or send me a direct email using the link and I'll be sure to clear some stuff up for you. Uh, but please do like and subscribe as usual because it helps me out and then you'll be notified when new videos become available. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.